uh, NFT Carrier article quoting Paul Cohen saying that the fight is far, not, is far from over. So they will go to the Dutch Supreme uh, Court after this to appeal against the Court of Appeals decision. So when they are exploring a lot of avenues here, are we going on an offensive mode to stop all this once and for all? Well, uh, yes, thank you so much. Yeah, I, I saw the I saw your NST's uh, story. Well, first of all, uh, the fight is not over. I agree. That's the only thing I agree with Paul Cohen. The fight is not over. Number two, you tell Cohen on my behalf, you want to fight, fight fairly. Put the money where your mouth is. Don't jump jurisdiction to jurisdiction as if you want to take advantage of the UN on the arbitration forum. Now, the issue is, of course, we're going offensive because along the way, when this government took over the matter, the Kerajaan Madani, there are multiple realizations upon this process that we have picked upon along the way. Uh, first of all, uh, what is questionable even until today is the fact that when the Madrid court themselves asked to stop the proceedings, they jumped to Paris. Then they jumped to other countries. Why do you jump? If you believe, I said this many times, if you believe that your claim is a righteous claim, you stay in Madrid and fight us because we objected. We objected to so many things that transpired in Madrid. But the rogue arbitrator decides to jump. So now when they jump, so they jump in Paris, and then they wanted to execute, so we stopped them. The court made a decision. Say, the civil system in European countries is different from our common law system. Our system is that we may have to settle what we started, but in that system, the civil system, they have the uh, ability to jump uh, or foreign shopping, that's number one. Number two, even in Madrid, we cannot do any civil action on the arbitrator, the rogue arbitrator, until the criminal action is taken by, uh, uh, by the government, uh, sorry, by the authorities. So when I was in Madrid, we wanted to do uh, double claims uh, while waiting for the uh, hearing date for the criminal action on Stampa. Uh, we've been told to, to wait because the court hasn't even given date on the hearing date, but they're looking at 2024. So pending that, we're at loss uh, physically from the uh, financial side because we have to keep having the councils uh, stationed with us. So we, our lawyers are still uh, working for us there, even though uh, the criminal cases uh, the, the authorities have decided to prosecute, but the prosecution is 2024. Now, if you ask me, can we take uh, civil action on Stampa in Spain? We can't. We have to wait until uh, the case has been settled from the criminal side. Okay, that's on Spain. In reference to France, we know very well is that we have to annul the final award. So we are in the process of annulling it. And annulling it, we have to wait. The, we have submitted all our argument, but we have to wait the, uh, the date from the court. And at the same time, from what I read from NST, they're talking about appeal. But suddenly, out of the grapevine, our councils tell us, since one of the claimants died, because they are Muslim claimants, one out of the eight died, uh, rumours has it that they want to uh, request for some time to find the uh, waris to take over. So can you imagine, on one hand, you have Cohen saying the fight is not over, on the other hand, you're asking for multiple postponement. Something's wrong somewhere. So yes, we are going to be very more offensive from now on because we believe that this is a, the award is a sham award. That's why I call it the Sulu fraud. I don't call it the Sulu award. Judge Court is so important to us because it's the first testing of the final award under the New York Convention. And the, the court has held that it cannot be enforced under the New York Convention. That is the most important thing. They have given many grounds, and those grounds are actually then mirrored in when we actually go to uh, Paris. Because in the civil code, there's the model law, uh, which is the arbitration law, which mirrors the New York Convention. So I think the message that has been sent by the Dutch court that it will not enforce the final award will be, I believe, very persuasive for all the other jurisdictions, the 171, 72 jurisdictions. Now, what we are doing in Paris is to announce the final award. That means where the award is published, it, the, the court is now invited to say that it is not valid. 
because it is a sham arbitration as YB has pointed out, we have uh, shown uh, that uh, in, in uh, uh, Spain, the preliminary award has been already been set aside. So, uh, as uh, YB has pointed out, he has actually changed the seat, which is an extraordinary event. It has never happened, and that, that is why I think uh, we are quite confident uh, that we will prevail at the end. Only thing is that we are now going through the process. 